So engineering, I suppose, if you look at the textbook definition of it, it's the application of scientific knowledge uh, to technical problem solving, so the scientific method, which in itself is an entire area to explore. But it's, um, for me, I suppose, personally, engineering is great fun. It's something I've, I, I love to bits, and I, I can't really imagine doing any other career. Um, I get to play with fantastic technology every day. I get to really just explore how things work and how they go, put different systems together, and it's great fun. Now. Engineering to me is problem solving. Um, whether that's from getting a product out there at the moment and developing it to solve the problem you need to solve, or developing a new product uh, that solves your problem, there's all sorts of possibilities. Um, Engineering to me is about solving a real world problem. It's so important to think about all these, all these issues that we've got going on inside the world. And really it's using a knowledge of maybe science, um, technology, a design, and really putting all these together to come up with a really fantastic solution. When I was designing my fridge, I actually worked partly in my product design class, partly in the engineering classroom, and partly in the science classroom. For me it was a combination of all these subjects and it wasn't just studying one area, it was a real combination of learning and I really enjoyed the whole mixing all the subjects together. Hi, my name is Mercedes, I'm an engineering student, um, I'm currently studying engineering, I've done a diploma. Um, I feel that as an engineer you're tailored to be analytical, I feel it gives you a different perspective on life um, and apply, gives you the application of maths and physics together which I quite like. For example, the engineer will find the solution to a problem that arises. So any problem, um, there'll be an engineer involved. It's looking at the maths and physics perspectives and putting those together. Uh, my name's Sam, and I'm doing the engineering uh, as well as IT. My name's Russell, and I'm doing the engineering diploma, A-level maths and A-level physics. Um, engineering is where you use practical skills and theoretical skills to develop um, and actually manufacture things that will work in real life. Um, I think it's really difficult to really pinpoint what engineering is, but from what I've got from studying the courses, there's a lot of teamwork and uh, problem solving is what I'd really say. Finding solutions to problems that are presented. Well, I think I wanted to be a chef at one point, but um, you know, again, that's making things, I suppose. But for me, as I sort of grew up and went through my teenage years, and you know, watching things like Discovery Channel and then reading books, you see these amazing machines out there. You know, like these machines that flew to the moon, these fast cars, this awesome bits of technology. And I just thought I really want to be involved in that. You know, I really want to, I want to actually learn more about it and learn how it's actually done. So that's what made me get into engineering. And once I started to get into it, it was different to what I thought it would be. It's a very, um, it's a very professional career. It's uh, the design process is quite structured in some ways, and it's. It's a matter of going through it and turning the handle on it, but it's it's really interesting because I, mean, I don't think I could have another job where you just shuffle paperwork or something. I don't think it would really suit me. You know, every day I have different challenges. It's good and bad because, of course, it's not a job you can just cruise at if you want to go anywhere. It's you know, but it's 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 great fun. Um, skills that I've gained in engineering uh, they range really. I've gained skills such as personal thinking skills, purely maths and physics skills and communication skills, so you get a range and you can incorporate those into your work. Um, there aren't many girls currently in engineering, that's because it's uh, like a male occupied thing, generally because of the maths and physics, but more women are tending to take maths and physics now as their options and career progressions into that. Um, I feel there should be more women in it really because um, we have a lot to offer really, because you can do, anyone can, as long as you talk, you can provide the same work really. There's not many girls in engineering, I think, because the perception is it's a male-dominated world, uh, um, well, a male-dominated industry, really. Um, and in a lot of companies, it is at the moment. But uh, girls have the same same knowledge as, as the men. We can do it as as but as good as the men can, and um, if not better. Uh, I think girls make incredible engineers. I mean, the girls that I've met who work on engineering projects like to solve real problems but really think differently to the boys. I mean, this is very stereotypical, but a lot of the boys that I've worked with might have produced a bike rack or are interested in producing you know, a huge TV or maybe a fridge with inbuilt iPod speakers. For me, the girls I've worked with look at real problems, helping individuals, for example, and have different ways of thinking. For my final year A2 level project, I decided again to solve a real world problem. 
I decided that I wanted to create a product that would um, reduce the amount of energy we consumed in our homes. I decided to redesign the refrigerator. Um, I wanted to design this fridge so it either used renewable energy or it used um, no energy at all so we could use it in our homes. After nine months working on my AT level project, I came up with a really simple design. A fridge that cools by evaporation and heat transfer, which allows the user to have a dry, cool inner compartment for the storage of food and medicine. But what I realised was that this product was too simplistic for use in our homes. It wasn't going to be a fridge that would replace our fridges that we use every day. So, what I thought about was other uses for this product. Could it have a dual purpose? I realised that people in Africa are unable to store food and medicine for long periods of time because of the heat and the lack of available electricity. So my fridge will be a perfect solution for these people. Um, skills that I've gained in engineering, uh, they range really. I've gained skills such as personal thinking skills, purely maths and physics skills and communication skills. So you get a range and you can incorporate those into your work. Perfect. To uh, Welbeck, the Defence Sixth Form College, uh, a, a college very similar to the Engineering Academy actually, uh, and I benefited from it so much. Uh, the hours are long, um, but you could get as much out as you put in basically. Uh, all of the subjects were a massive physical compulsory, uh, but I was quite into those subjects, and all of the other subjects were technical as well. So um, all, all of the students were like minded. They all wanted the same outcome, they all, wanted it. They all ha had the same technical knowledge. So, um, yeah, it was really good to be in that sort of environment with like minded people all working for the same goal. The Academy looks really amazing to me. I wish I'd have had that when I was that age. Um, for me, the technical subjects and the sciences were my passion from, from quite young. And though, not to berate the subjects, I wasn't particularly interested in in things like English or languages, which is probably, I don't know, not a great thing, but the technical subjects is where I was concentrating on. So someone like the Engineering Academy where they really have a very strong focus on that. Of course it's everything other things are important. You have to you know you have to be able to communicate and things like that. So you have to put your effort in there as well. But a, a place with a strong focus on technical subjects I think would have been really, really interesting. And from seeing some of the the ways that they don't want to approach things in the Engineering Academy, I think it's it's almost closer to a university education maybe than than the school one. So I think it could be, if you want to go into technical subjects, I don't think there's be any better place to do it. Um, well, it's not going anywhere. It's been here since the beginning of time and it will be. As the world gets more technical, every single thing around you is technical. Every, from the pavement you walk on, and the phones you use, everything is designed and built by engineers. And it's not just that, it's up the hierarchy. So as in the engineers that built the machines, that built the machines, that built the machines, it goes on like that. So everything around you is technical. And if, if you're scientifically literate and you have an engineering background, the world around you is very different to someone who doesn't have that. So I think it's a very positive thing to be educated in that way because the world's much more approachable, I think, and understandable if you have a technical background.